Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, DIY Hooked on Custom Crafts. My name is Denise, and today we're gonna to pour that last layer. And you really wanna add that last layer so you can protect your photo, or if you have a decal, um, or even a water slide. And then it gives it a nice professional finish. So these are the ones we're gonna start on. I did these in a previous video, and I also had some questions regarding these. Um, my, what did I cut my decals at? 1.7 by 0.7, and also if I use paper or vinyl, I use vinyl. And um, I use the custom setting for vinyl glossy on my Cricut. And also, one more thing to add is that it takes at least 200 milliliters to fill this whole mold. So I guess it depends what you put in it. Uh, could be less. But other than that, 200 milliliters. And so in this video, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna fill this up, and we're going to um, go ahead and file them down, and we're gonna apply the dots. So stay tuned, hang in there, guys. It's gonna be a really short video. And also, leave me your comments and let me know what you think. And also, remember to subscribe. So thank you for watching, and let's get it started. Well, welcome back guys. So, um, here are the results. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop a couple of them out. Let's see how they turned out. Okay. okay. Look nice on the back side. So these here require little fouling. And let's find another one. And what I'm looking for is one that has a really smooth top all the way across. Um, I'm gonna go back and fill just a, a hint of resin back into these. So um, this one looks like it's a good one here. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, so we're just gonna work with these three here. And we're going to set this one aside. And what I'm going to do now is we're going just to smooth them down because, like I said, um, these here, uh, because I, I took my time with them, so they don't require a lot of sanding. But I am using the Imperial Wet or Dry 3M. Got this from Lowe's or Home Depot. And we're going to put a little water on it. Just a little bit. Oop, there we go. And then we're going to foul. So we're going to foul very gently and then in, and in a circle. So we're going to just take and file. In a circle. Okay, that's smoothing it out very nicely. Here's another thing. I'm not, this here, my pad, it's not a flat surface. So this will work better if it were on a flat surface. So I'm gonna move this over here just a bit. Yeah, big difference, guys. So make sure you're filing on a flat surface. So we got that side smoothed out. You can just fill along here. Let's apply a little pressure. That side is smoothed out. I think I put a little bit too much water here, so I'm gonna dab a little bit of water up. Looks good, feels good. Okay, 
actually you can't tell but the edges are smooth okay now for the dots and the lines so I use this acrylic white I use it as a base and then I come back with my liquid text um, white and gold um, acrylic ink okay so I just dip it in and we'll just put a little bit here Just wipe that excess away. There we go. Little dab, dab it in. And I have a really fine little brush that I'm using here as well. And you'll see the difference because um, when you use two coats, it just make the dots opaque. So uh, yeah, so there we have it. And that's all to it.